You know who that is. That's beloved White Sox organist Nancy Faust revving up the crowd at Old Comiskey Park. Now, she's about to be enshrined in a sort of baseball hall of fame for accomplishments off the field. Yes, we caught up with the fan favorite at her North Suburban home today. Nancy Faust's love affair with the organ continues today. But it's her 41 year career with the White Sox that gave her a spot in the baseball reliquary Shrine of the Eternals. I feel very fortunate that I'm still remembered after all these years. Remembered for playing at some 3,000 games. And being the first ballpark organist to incorporate rock and pop songs. Bringing an element of fun to the park. I saw generations come and go. When kids start telling me, uh, oh yeah, my great grandfather loved you, <laughs> I thought, I think it's time to retire. Here, Bell, and I'll give you a nice treat. There you go. That retirement in 2010 has allowed her to spend more time with her pets, of all things, donkeys. Okay, Gigi Lennon Bridges. Back inside her home, a lot of fun memorabilia. It's a picture of Harry talking to me. A bobblehead the team gave away. A letter from then President Barack Obama. And a gold record from that song Nancy helped make famous. I'd forgotten all about this. And this little known nugget a rejection letter from Philip Wrigley and the Cubs in 1967. They wouldn't hire Nancy to play the organ. Really honored to have Philip K. Wrigley's autograph here. <laughs> How about that? The thought that Nancy could have played for the Cubs all those years. Nancy will be inducted into the Shrine of the Internals next month in California. And talk about diverse interests. Yeah. Who knew? Donkeys, organs. Oh, my gosh. I, I like when she was hopping on the bareback. That didn't work so well. But the London Bridge thought thing looked like a much easier way she, she's to get on the donkey. Found it. Found a way to make it work. Yeah. <laughs>